Now, um, just to review, you start your brush and wet it entirely, okay? And, and then I have a little water in there, so I'm not going to get as much water in my brush. I'm just going to come in and uh, um, dissolve the water and scrape off. And right here, I'm going to actually, uh, there's some water in there too, and I'm going to do both, okay? So one of the yellow is going to be my light green, one is going to remain yellow, okay? So I'm just going to, and, and right now they are all yellow, so I can do this whenever, and this is very important that you, you scrape off extra moisture. If you want to add more, you can just uh, pick up more water and go in here, but if you don't scrape off, it'll just backflow, okay? Now, let me decide, this is going to my flower, be my flower yellow, and that's going to be my leaf yellow. Okay, oh, well, uh, I have to decide which one to do the flower. Um, remember, these were new, so they were kind of a little bit of um, uh, stiff. Okay. No, that's okay. Um, so they will they will kind of uh, work it work themselves out. So this is going to be my flower, and this is going to my, be my leaf. I put the blue in here. You can pick up a little bit. Okay, and right in here. It, it looks like there's no color, but I think um, if you scrape it off, it'll be okay. It'll be just fine. Now the daffodil leaf is different from tulip leaf in that okay. uh, you can use one of the place to mix it okay, mix, uh, your color so there is a gradual change and this loading um, is so important that every time that you pick up there's some uh, new color and some old color so um, the, the fresh color um, you can pick up too much sometimes so I'm going to do this so there's all different shades. Okay, remember we start from the little little flower um, leaf uh, with the tulip, and the tulip comes folded in, right? But the daffodil leaf, they don't fold, they just come, but you have to get a start real good, just like a teardrop, and kind of come down like this. Okay, now this, exercise is for you to control your brush and make beautiful stroke and they grow a little bit longer and look at how I push it down and just pull and pull and the way I go I kind of push with my little finger middle finger and just this way and sometimes I have to pull with my shoulder come down like this okay so there's two motion one, two, okay? And you want to maintain the steadiness. Uh, always make sure you have different shades of color in your brush. And let's do the third uh, third um, blade and comes down like this. Give a little moisture, uh, uh, curvature, and just come in. Let it, let it happen. Let the stroke happen, okay? Now, um, I'm going to I'm going to grow the daffodil um, and I will give you a little bit white um, this white is for you to uh, see the new um, flower bud okay so say there's a flower bud there we go Look at how I maintain that tip. And this comes down like this, okay? And there's leaf. Let me see what this, well, this can be another flower bud because it's uh, the white. And I'm going to use up the white a little bit. And here's the flower bud. And it just comes down like this, okay? Now, let me grow the flower and we can always add more uh, leaf later on load your brush um, i'm going to load it um, 
dark, okay, um, but not the entirely, only the head, okay. You can, you can even, well, let's do one like this. <coughs> I'm going to get started with, um, <coughs> sorry. Just like Daisy, one, two, and now go around a little bit smaller, okay? And they are like a roundish, like this. This is a little bit smaller there, okay? Now here is a bell, a bell. Can you kind of see this is inside? That's outside, and there are five petals goes up, you go, one can use two stroke to make this petal two and th this exercise you are all returning students so i'm going to start having you exercise um your stroke work okay and see i just kind of touch my yellow and not mix it in so it doesn't change one and the second one is just next to it and look at the release of color okay and here is the third one okay go go up and it's my brush is split so I'm just going to do my best I'm going to pick up yellow Sometimes when it's split, it's because it's dry, so the moisture um, give uh, the w the weather. And I'm going to come down like here, one, and there's another one in the back. And pick up yellow like this, and try not to mess up um, the yellow. Whoa. Okay, now, <laughs> okay, so the second flower, just turn the, the flower a little bit around. One, two, and you just kind of get smaller and smaller in, in the round, all around, right? And now um, I'm going to do that bell, bell just with the tip of the color. And now you're going to work with that. You don't want to go over that. So I'm going to do one and just avoid going over two. Okay. Um, one trick is to maintain the tip, the tip and sometimes these brush will split a little bit and um, the moisture will help. And look at how I use the tip and come in and just, just direct your brush to where you want it. And here's another one, okay? And the second one, I'm just going to go around a little bit and look at how I control that tip Okay, and here in the back, I want to uh, make it fade it back a little bit. So I'm going to just pick up a little bit of blue, um, just so that it's behind this thing, like in the shadow. Okay, and the la fifth one comes through like this. Okay, now if you have hard time doing that, the first thing is not too hard. Um, let me show you how to do outline method, okay? The first thing is let's do our middle. The middle is easy, okay? And that's small, that's there, small like this. And then everything is outlined from there. I'm going to show you how to do that. This is my bell, okay? Now you can do one, Two, three, four, and five. Okay? 
Now, you get yourself some outline. Now you just blow your brush and do the best you can. Leave that bell alone. Just kind of do the best that you can. And if you don't get complete the stroke, don't worry about it, okay? Just do the best you can. And uh, like here, uh, I want to have a little bit of um, the, it's like um, the shadow shadow and all I do is to put a little bit of blue um, behind it and, and here is the middle okay and that gives me shade like it's not it's in the shadow it's not as bright okay but make sure um, you don't get your brush so dirty. I look at how little that I pick up that blue only at the tip so it can be used up. And you just push down and you move and you kind of look at how I kick into that tip even though you got that? Ooh. Okay so now I can I can put some more um, I can put some more leaf or I can grow the stem, okay? Now, let's say this is the point where the, that stem comes out and I can hardly see, let's see, come down like this and this is coming down like that, okay? This comes down like this and I don't come all the way down, I want to block it with some some leaf and just give a good posture you know this leaf is going to be behind it a little bit and they change color okay well this is like this and it's, it looks like it's it's behind it right and I load this and right here comes from the bulb down here and, and you can have a little bit of smaller ones okay down there and what I do is I just load some water in the back and if you don't like the stroke that you're making you can just give a little outline Does that make sense? Mm, it kind of looks like it looks so good that the flowers kind of look like a sticker. Almost. It does? Like yeah, okay. Just stuck the sticker on there. Very good. <laughs> now here, I'll just do a little few um, small leaves and that's good. Will we ever use any blacks in our kitchen? Well, we could, but, but black are so strong. I am, um, it will overpower everything. So as we learn strokes, we will uh, avoid the black for now. What you can do, look at how I made the shadow, is the blue kind of give a little bit of push it back, okay? Um, we, can, we can do black later on, how's that? Yeah. Okay, let me 